Are you trying to teach your dog to loose leash walk, but you're finding that they immediately pull again after they get a treat? Then this video is for you. I'm going to cover a bunch of tips to help you train your dog to loose leash walk and to make walks more enjoyable. I previously made a 10 tips to immediately improve leash walking video with my client Louie that I'll link for you in the video description if you haven't watched it. That video has gotten amazing feedback about how helpful it was, but I've also gotten a few follow-up questions asking how I handle a dog that immediately pulls again after they get a treat. I was told that the written suggestions that I provided in the comments were really helpful, so today I'm going to show you how I use those tips with Remy. I originally met Remy because he constantly pulled on leash and he was leash reactive, but his guardian has done a lot of work with him and he's come a long ways with both behaviors. However, I jokingly refer to Remy as a whiplash dog because he does occasionally Remy. still pull on leash right after he gets a treat. Yes. I'm going to show you exactly how I work on that with him. Remy. Yes. The very first thing that I suggest if your dog pulls on leash after getting a treat is two methods of prevention. The first is a very simple recall game that I suggest to all clients when they're just starting to work on leash skills. It's an easy way to burn off some excess energy at the start of walks and it builds a reinforcement history for your dog reorienting back to you by default after they find something of interest. Normally I would suggest playing in a field with a long leash so that you can really get your dog running, but I wanted to demonstrate that if that's not accessible where you live, you can use a shorter leash and play somewhere with less space. Today I'm just playing with Remy in an empty parking lot. This game is really simple. Have a handful of small treats and drop a couple on the ground for your dog to find as you run to the end of the leash. Once they've gotten their treats, call their name. Say your marker word as they approach to let them know that following you was what you wanted. Give them a treat from your hand and then drop one to two more treats on the ground as you again run away. After a few rounds of calling them to you, stop saying their name to see if they'll reorient back to you by default. This is a fantastic way to build more engagement from your dog on walks and have them pay attention to where you are, which helps a lot with leash pulling. If you want to learn more about this game, I'll link a tutorial for it here and in the video description. My second suggestion for preventing leash pulling is to cue your dog to return to you if you think that they're going to pull, and also to reward them if you notice that they stop themselves before they pull. If we want to change a behavior, one of the best ways of doing that is to reinforce an incompatible behavior. For example, in my tutorial for solving jumping that I filmed with Louie, I suggested cueing and reinforcing a sit instead. Why? because sitting is incompatible with your dog being able to jump on you at the same time. Likewise, when leash training, we can cue the dog to return to us before they pull if we notice that something has caught their interest. We don't need to wait for our dogs to fail before we intervene. It's also important to make sure that you reward the behaviors that you want to see. Yes. If you notice your dog having awareness of where they are on the leash and that they stop themselves prior to adding any leash tension, reward that. Remember, what gets reinforced gets repeated. Before we move into my two preferred training techniques for teaching a dog not to pull right after getting a treat, I do want to quickly mention one popular technique that I'm not personally a huge fan of, which is the be a tree method. Essentially, the advice is that if your dog pulls, you stop moving and you wait for them to release the tension before you start walking again. This does work for some dogs, but I find with younger or more active dogs, they often get frustrated with the constant stopping, as do I.
My preference with dog training is always to reward the behaviors that I want to see. In this case, that means rewarding longer and longer durations of maintaining a loose yes. leash while still continuing to move. I'm now going to show you two of my favorite techniques for achieving that if you have a dog that pulls soon after getting a treat. First, my preferred method for addressing this is to completely switch directions when the dog pulls. As you can see, when Remy pulls here, I call his name, then I start walking in the opposite Remy. direction, and I mark and reward when he's at my side. Yes! I don't expect Remy to stay in a heel. I just want him to walk with a loose leash. As long as he's doing that, we continue on. If he were to pull again, I would turn again and repeat this whole process. I like this method because it keeps training in motion and it lets you reward for the behavior you want, which is walking with a loose leash. Remy! For the first while, you likely won't get very far, but this is very effective over time. Yes. Also remember to keep rewarding voluntary check-ins. Remy! Yes! However, I do understand that not everyone wants to switch directions constantly, especially if you're already on your way home. Why? <laughs> In that case, I recommend trying this. Toss a treat behind you so that your dog needs to catch up to you for a secondary reward. When your dog pulls, call them back to you and then toss a treat reward on the ground behind you. Start walking again in the original direction as soon as your dog has eaten it and then reward them again when they reach your side. This technique again puts your dog behind you so they again have to catch up to you and it gives you an opportunity to reward them in motion. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this training. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would really appreciate if you would hit like, leave a comment, or consider sharing it. There are two videos that I suggest you watch next. One of my biggest pet peeves on dog walks is when the leash tangles under the dog's legs and I constantly have to stop and fix it. If this is also a frustration of yours, you should check out this video next. It shows you step by step how I train dogs to fix their own leash on walks. Fix your leash? Yes! Remy will be back next week for another leash training tutorial, but until then, you can check out this entire loose leash walking playlist that I've created for you. Happy training, I'll see you next week.